How are you doing folks? Adam Smasher93 here and welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver. When we last left off, we made it we ascended Mount Silver and defeated Red. Now in this episode, we begin the post-game content. Which normally there wouldn't be any in original gold and silver. And we're gonna go through here first. And here's Lyra. Hi, Ethan. Guess what? That sound designer over there showed me something cool. It's a high-tech retro machine to link listen to music from the Game Boy. He said he'll give it to anyone who has collected all the Kanto badges. Why don't you go for it, Ethan? See ya! Alright. I am the sound designer. I compose music. Wow, you have collected all the Kanto badges already. That's great. I'll give you something cool for that. That's the GB sounds, which GB is a rectangular thing with a black and white screen that you use to play the original Pokemon. Oh wait, that was a Game Boy. Turn it. Excuse me. Turn it on, and GB sounds will let you hear something nostalgic. Hear some nostalgic sounds. It's a gadget full of wonder. Try it at various places. There are some places you won't hear classic music. But that's life. Okay, I'll. Okay, I will just do that a little later on. But for right now, we're gonna go ahead and head on over to Pallet Town. Because what we have, we get to make a decision. What starter Pokemon we get from Kanto? How cool is that? Waving, Latios. Oh, he's got something. Okay, I'll take it from you. Ah, just a yellow flower. Smelling a nostalgically familiar scent. Alright. Hello, Ethan. Good to see you. I have heard, I heard a lot about you. Your Pokemon must be close to complete. For all your hard work, I would like to give you something. Haha! -ha, what's behind me? You must have figured it out right away. Yes, it is a Pokemon. You don't see them very often in Kanto. Choose one and it'll be yours. Go ahead! Alright. Okay, let me see. This is the grass type Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur! As a Pokemon! Pretty good Pokemon. Well, not, uh, sort of. It's more on the defense and special defensive side in the, in the line. And here's Charmander. And, oh, correction on the Bulbasaur. It's more of health and, def and special defense. And Charmander. Charmander is a pretty good Pokemon. It is more on the... Special attack and speed. And also has good physical attacks too. In the line. Now this is the Pokemon I want to pick. Squirtle. Squirtle! Is a, it could be a very good physical wall. And it has a pretty good attacks too. And the good thing about this. It'll become a great tank when it becomes a Blastoise. Now I'm gonna pick Squirtle. All right. And no. If a wild Pokemon appears, your Pokemon can battle. If they're at your side, you should be able to reach the next town. What am I saying? You already know all this. Ha ha. Let's say hi to our good friend Squirtle. <laughs> Naughty nature. Okay. Now, let's fly on over to Saffron. Because there is one more thing we want to get. And that requires us to go to Silphco. You remember it in the Kanto games being taken over by Team Rocket. 
Hey you, the elevator there is out of order now. Something is wrong with the electricity and won't work right. I feel sorry that you wasted a trip, so here's a gift for you. That is the upgrade. That is used to evolve to... If you let Porygon hold this and you trade it, it becomes a Porygon 2. It's Silphco's latest product. It's not for sale anywhere yet. And now, we find Steven right here. Hello, you're breaking up. I think it depends on how my dad feels. I see. I'll be on my way. See you soon. Hello. You are... I remember your eyes. When I see a trainer whose eyes twinkle, I always remember. You have a Pokedex, so you are also in search of Pokemon. Let me see. I think I can help you with that. Let's say that you have stones in front of you. Which color would you pick? Alright, this is a Ho the Hoenn Pokemon. The green stone, he will give you Trico. Trico, as a Pokemon. Actually a very good grass type. And when you get this to its final stage, you will have a pretty fast Pokemon. If you pick the red stone, you will have a Torchic. Torchic! It's it's a pretty good fire type Pokemon. And when you get it towards the final stage, you will have a pretty good attacker. And the moves suit it very well. Or the blue stone you get Mudkip. Mudkip! A pretty good water type Pokemon. I used it on my I picked Mudkip on my Pokemon Emerald Let's Play and when it got to its final evolution, it served me really well. Because it has knows a variety of attacks. Although, kind of more of a tank. And it's kind of slow, but who gives a crap about that? I'm going to go with the green stone. And that we get a Trico. And no, I won't get a nickname. See ya! Okay, here we go. Hi, Trico, how are we doing? Yep, speed is its best stat. And I'm gonna head over to Pewter City. Let's go. Before we move on... Now right here, I think you find Steven somewhere, he is right here. People who dedicate themselves to what they believe stand out in a crowd. My passion is no less than yours. Wow, the thing you have, that stone is so mysterious. Something seems to be shining inside. The stone is modest, yet hiding something wonderful. You should have studied it by experts. Have a study. And now we head over the Enigma Stone. I will check it. Can you hold on a sec? Thank you for your patience. It took me a little while, but I have confirmed it. This is an orb that contains what is called Soul Dew. The Soul Dew! Soul Dew is said to be the soul of solidified spirits of Latios and Latios. It has the power to bring out the true potential of Latios and Latios. The spirits of these Pokemon in Soul Dew are said to call out each other. The only thing that puzzles me is the place Soldu was found. Why can't I? Okay. You know what? I am gonna give this Soldu. to Latios. Latios. Gonna get a big boost in special attack. Hello. It seems that Latios became attracted to it in no time. I, I can feel that Latios is full of fighting spirit. I would love to challenge it, but I will let you go for it. And this, recommend you save it. Hoping the soul dude doesn't make, doesn't make doesn't make Latios too powerful. Here we go. Latios is gonna be level 40 with Levitate for the ability. Alright. Hello. 
Come on, just pray it doesn't become too powerful. Not very effective, but I'm gonna use a Dragon Breath. Well, let's just hope that it doesn't take it out in one hit. All right! Got it paralyzed! I wanna know. Should probably just use a Luster Purge. Because it's just not very effective. Okay, maybe one more Luster Purge. Don't kill it. Please do not kill it. Perfect. Oh, it's special defense fell. But I am not going to use any more moves. Time for me to shook some balls. Starting off with the Pokeball. Which didn't work. After I get through capturing Latias, if I have time, I might go catch the next Legendary. And there's so much post-game content to discover in this game. Okay, one shake, that's better. This might hurt. But I got some tanky Pokemon with me. So I should be good to go. Come on, Latios. Oh, that's right, the refresh. Okay, this might be a problem. Okay. You know what? Time for me to bring on out the luxury ball. Hey, Latias! You should go in this ball! It's very comfortable! Okay. Be like most of the other legendaries. Oh, Latios is still alive. Time for a Dusk Ball. On Dusk Ball. Screw you, Dusk Ball. This is gonna hurt. What? I'm fine. I'm fine. It's fine. I'm gonna send out Gyarados. Just so it could use its Intimidate ability. Alright. Time for another Dust Ball. Come on, Dust Ball. Can I get more than one Shake? More than one Shake? Is that asking too much? A cherish ball. Maybe a cherish ball. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> yeah! Cherish ball got it. Oh yes! Oh yeah! The one time the cherish ball does at least two shakes. Catches it! Impressive! It was a great battle. I don't think you had to give everything you've got, and that scares me. I've been away from the Hoenn Pokemon League for too long. I'll have to excuse myself. Oh, I never got your name, but I won't ask for it this time. Our fun will have to wait for the right time. Okay, we got plenty of time. So which means... Uh, speed through this. And 
we're gonna head on over to... Well, we gotta head to Cherry Grove City because... There's someone we gotta be... And grab an orb. Okay, let's go in here and... Right here. Because I want to... I want to get... Norlax out. Who else would be pretty good? I guess Articuno might be. Zapdos, not so much. Get Moltres in here. You know, I actually have a strategy in mind. In case a certain Pokemon I know uses rest. But I got time for another. Let's go. You know, hold up. Before I go on, let me test. Here's the. Here's what the GB sounds does. See that? It changes it to the classics. But I'm just gonna stop that. But you get what I mean. It changes it to the Game Boy original gold and silver sounds. But I'm more of the. This sounds though, but hey, it does bring back childhood memories. Now we gotta go to Mr. Pokemon's house. Hello. Hi, Ethan. I have something I want you to have, and it was just about to send an email to Professor Oak. The thing is, a friend of mine from Hoenn came over and gave this to me. That, we get the red orb. That orb has something to do with the ancient rooms located past Seenwood City called the Embedded Tower, but only a handful of trainers can reach there. That's where you come in. Professor Oak thinks highly of you, and you are the proud champion after all. I'm sure you can solve the mystery of the orb and the secret of the runes. If you had been playing Pokemon Hearts Gold, you would end up with the blue orb. Okay, here we go. Let's head over to Seenwood. And away we go. I'm making sure I don't have too much too powerful Pokemon. Hello, Chuck. Hey, Ethan. Good to see you again, but I never expected to see you around here. Could it be that you are on the way to the Embedded Tower? The Embedded Tower is a huge tower piercing the sky. It is said to have something to do with that mythical Pokemon that stretched the seas, and the Pokemon that widened the lands. But the tower no longer is standing. The way to the Embedded Tower is harder than you can imagine. You need to use Rock Climb as well as Surf. I see. So you've defeated all the Gym Leaders in Kanto as well. Then there's nothing to worry about. Believe in yourself and walk your path. Oh, that's right! I need Rock Climb! Well, Typhlosion got a few moments of rest. Looks like I'm gonna have to... Brrr. You know what? I think I could teach it... Rock Climb? Give me a second. I'm gonna speed run. I'll need block. Yeah, I don't need Typhlosion for the rock climbing. It deserves a lot. Deserves some rest. So we go through here. Let's go through Rock Climb. This is a 
looking around here. And that item. That's a big pearl. Oh, I'm gonna get some money here. Let's go through. Okay, what now? Hi, Whooper. Eh, I don't have time for you right now. Leave me alone. I got more thing. I got more things to worry about than the Whooper. Ready to go up the Okay, right here. And as you can see, I have already battled these trainers off screen. So go down here. Get a max repel. Don't think I'm gonna need waterfall. But even if I do, I have Gyarados learn it no that knows waterfall as well. So I'm well prepared. So we go through here. This is what Chuck was talking about. This? These are the rocks that I need to climb. I'll climb that. Oh, there's an item. I'll go ahead and grab that after. Hello. Go down here. Before I go through there, I'm gonna pick up the wave incense. Now we'll continue on. And I'll save the game first. Because of what is coming up. Thank you. And here we are. You know what? I could have just done it right there. That let's this is Groudon. Groudon, level 50, pure ground type, drought for the ability. He has rest, earthquake, eruption, and I forget the fourth attack. Oh well. Uh oh. Oh yeah, good thing Snorlax has a good special defense as well. And Gyarados, not. What am I saying? Well, I'm gonna get. I have Snorlax on here, and Snorlax is has is a good attacker. And with Groudon ha having a strong defense, as well as a great physical attack, I should should be too worried about killing this thing. Okay, you got your power boost. Now, how about this? That is perfect. Once this thing uses rest, that's when I... That eruption's gonna do nothing. It's only a threat when Groudon has full health. Like, I normally don't use eruption when I Typhlosion. That doesn't have full health. Okay. Don't think I should be doing another crunch attack. This will be the time that I start chucking up, chucking the Pokeballs. And this Pokemon, it is the heaviest Pokemon in the game. 
sporting over 2,000 pounds. Damn it. Heavy ball, do your job. Oh. Okay. You know what? I got a plan. I have a planny plan. I got a planny plan. Send the Pichu out. And what I'm about to do is Endeavor. Holy crap. We're out on still faster. Ow, you're Endeavoring it in the crotch. That's gonna hurt. So now it's at 55 health. And now, I should be able to chuck another heavy ball at it. Okay. Oh boy. Well, that was a failed attempt there. But, Crobat's not known for being a good physical attacker. So I'm gonna... Why did I do that? Damn it! Okay, take two. Alright, here we are at back at the Embedded Tower. And here he is. Okay, thought I would be forced to go into a battle without saving. That would be disastrous. Let's get that saved. Let me see if Kyger knows an ice type move. Yep, it's got ice beam. Alright, here we go. Let's get Rayquaza. Rayquaza, level 50. Airlock for the ability. And I'm not caring of what moves it has. So Drizzle will go in, but Airlock will cancel weather effects. Man, Rayquaza is such a sweet Pokemon. Like, this is one of the best legendaries out there. Ah, oh, crap. Too powerful! Okay, so I... 
have decided I'm just gonna wait till the next episode to catch this. Because this could take a while and... I think if I left all the on-screen stuff... I'd just go way over the time there. So thank you guys so much for watching. Until then, I'm Adam Smasher 93 I'll see you guys in the next episode where we'll pick up with catching... Rayquaza. See you guys then.